when the MC was speaking, he thanked His Excellency not only for this, but he also said something about another holy day. I am aware that the country has enjoyed too many holidays. And I hope it is not another holiday. I will suggest and I will speak about it in a little while that it should indeed be a day for sober reflection and public education and reorienting ourselves to improve upon public service and constitutionalism. I will be suggesting in due course that on an occasion like this, the commemoration should not be limited to public lectures in the evening, 5 to 7, which is good to do, but it should be preceded at every district with a citizen's forum. Nine o'clock, the district chief executive, perhaps the regional police commander, in a meeting facilitated or organized by and moderated by National Commission on Civic Education, will assemble. Every district has schools. Schools will be re represented by students and teachers. There should be the media that are present at all such districts and there will be the opportunity for the district chief executives and that applies to municipal and metropolitan chief executives to provide an account of activities over the last year. There should be the opportunity for think tanks or the tertiary institutions that may be available in the district or adjoining districts or the region to provide a critique of activities in the district over the last year and there should be an open forum where the citizens and representatives that we have spoken about can make suggestions and ask questions. If we commemorate Constitution Day this way. It will not be another public holiday following immediately after Christmas where we will stay at home and probably neither work nor land.